All right, YouTube, by popular demand, I had a request for the uh, the beautiful, beautiful Crossman R1. This is a special edition rifle for the Fallen Patriots. Comes with its own special magazine. Fallen Patriot. Moment of silence for all those fallen. May they rest in peace. It's a beautiful rifle. Charge it right up. Not sure if it's loaded. I'm going to put it on safe. This is how it came. All stock minus the Magpul protective cover for the magazine. In case you, uh, you, you hit that release, it's going to drop out. This is over one pound. I don't have my skill. I have my skill behind me. I'm not, I like weighing everything, but I know it's 1.1 pounds. Has a dust cover, but we have to fire it first. Let's see. It's empty. Dust cover closes. It's fully functional. Watch. Opens up. That's pretty cool. So you can have it all closed up. Have a loaded magazine. You have a bolt catch release on the other side. It's all there. It's a full replica of the Crossman R1. Also, the flash hider, 14 millimeter, uh, take it off, turning it to the left counterclockwise. It exposes a, a steel threaded barrel tip. Now notice it's all in red, that's pretty cool. I think they still sell the rifle. Put it back on the flash hider. There it goes. Crossman R1. Fallen Patriot 0.177 full auto. I do have Magpul furniture on here. I can lock that in so no rattle. All the rattles coming from the rifle, not from this. Fully collapsible. You can lock it in. That's pretty cool. Let's load her up. Put the rifle down. Pull the Magpul protective cover off. Let's see if we have any gas in it. Empty. Grab our power. Pelican oil. Or silicone oil. Let's go silicone oil this time. I use Pelican all the time. Drop. Drop. Okay, how you charge it? The one closest to you says first. I put one in. Has its own tool that's provided with the magazine. This one's first. You have to charge this one first or else if you don't, if you do that, you're going to lose all your gas. Now you can also run one cylinder only. And then you'll get less shots, but it'll still get the same amount of power. So let's charge it up. I'm going to tighten them both up to the point of uh, ready to pop. All right, here we go. You're going to hear his. That's about it. Second one. No leaks. Gonna put your wrench back. Put your cover, magazine cover on. Your protective cover. Now let's get my BBs.
Oh, here's my little trick with the BBs. Make them look bigger. I have a magnifying glass. It makes them look huge. I inspect them just for the heck of it. Anyways, you're gonna um, you know, break a nail sliding this thing. I just use something metal. There you go, we gotta go all the way back. You're gonna load up 25 shots. There's a speed loader that comes with it. I don't like it, I just load them by hand. Now I have been running these uh, rifles through the crony. I'm not getting 430 feet per second. They must be using uh, lighter steel BBs or it varies. Some will go hit 400. Some will hit 390. Some will hit close to it. I do have all four of them. The Bushmaster. This one, the R1. The uh, AK1. What other one? Oh, the DPMS. All right. So it's loaded up. See, I had a, you have to make sure you release that spring right there so they all come out crisscross or if they're not you don't release that spring you'll get nothing all right are we still on safe no nope. we're on fire we're on safe now we're loaded up if i charge it up we're hot i'm not going to charge it yet but there it is look at it let me know what you think i'm not going to be applying any gun skin rails to this one it's just stock. It's a limited edition. I have the box. Everything. That's a bitchin' rifle, man. And once you add, I, I added all kinds of stuff. I had the Vortex red dots on here, red dot, green dot, the magnifiers, uh, the, the lights. I have all the stuff. I have all the uh, old light lights, the, the GL, the green laser was on here. But it's all just back to stock with the Magpul, uh, obviously the Magpul. The cheek rest is just perfect. Hands off the trigger. Just perfect. Let me, let me know what you think. There's not many guys showing this rifle off. I think I'm about the only guy showing it off, really. The guys have shot it and just put it away. This one sits in a, a Liberty safe with my real AR right next to it which is actually a gray Cerakote AR-15. That tells you something. There it is. Go, Johnny, go.